Mario Party 9, one of my favorite Mario Party games of all time. Is something meant to happen? Nope. Alright, I need you guys to bear with me for a second because I'm going to tell you something that's a little bit frightening. I actually like Mario Party 9. I know, pretty weird, but here's a fun fact about me. This was the very first Mario Party game I had ever played. No, I'm not memeing you, I had never heard of Mario Party prior to this game. And because of that, all of the problems with this game, such as the linear boards and the lack of interesting items, weren't problems to me. Even though I did get around to playing the original Mario Parties, and I do prefer that style, I still enjoy Mario Party 9 from the boards to the side modes, and I especially love the minigames. So today, let's talk about why Mario Party 9 is mind-blowing in 3, 2, 1... This game released on the Wii, only the best console to have a party game. I freaking love this box art. Aside from Luigi being stuck in the corner, it's so colorful with all the characters going for the star in the middle. The title screen is also cool too, with Mario standing in the middle and characters flying in the background. You're no longer forced to play with four players, which is awesome if you just want to have fun with one or two friends. You can change how your car looks by unlocking extra skins. They totally didn't need to do that, but I'm glad they did. Also, just seeing Mario and the gang hanging out in a car is just cute. It really sells that these are just friends hanging out. The plot of Bowser stealing the stars from the night sky is a very cool idea and is way more interesting than bragging over who's the superstar. It feels weird playing as Kamek considering how much of a douchebag he is in the other games, but I still like it. I'll admit that the dice blocks kind of suck compared to the items in the other games, but at least they give some strategy on when to use them. The motion controls actually work well in this game. I've never had a problem with them on the boards or during the minigames. Speaking of which, I love the minigame selection here. There's a bunch of great ones like Goomba Bowling, Peak Precision, Upward Mobility, and even more. This game also has much more prominent boss battles, which are mostly solid as well. Hey look, it's extra thick fishy boopkins. I know people love Eats a Pizza from Mario Party 3, but you have to admit this pizza looks pretty tasty as well. Wanna know why I adore the Bowser Jr. minigames? I can finally give that little sh the what for. The music for the mid-boss doesn't deserve to slap this hard. Bowser's death is so brutal. He gets blasted with fireballs and then sucked into a massive vortex and explodes into a bunch of stars. Damn. Even though the boards are linear, I still really enjoy them, with my favorite one being Boo's Horror Castle. Bowser has a freaking bob bomb factory at his disposal. He ain't f***ing around this time. The booze in this game can be such a pain in the ass. I love it. Instead of Bowser having a typical castle or lava board, his board now takes place in space, and there's a lot more cool stuff that happens along the way. Donkey Kong may not be playable, but at least he has his own board and minigame. Who knew that gardening could be so fun? Who who knew that climbing stairs could be so fun? You even get your own statue once you're done climbing, with the Whittles from Super Mario Galaxy cheering you on. The idea of a reverse minigame where you have to be the first to lose is so stupid that it's awesome. I love how the players are supposed to be pissed off when you're about to go against a boss, but then you have characters like Yoshi and Koopa who are like, oh sh**, I have to fight now? This music is also a banger. Castle Clearout is one of my favorite puzzle minigames. It's easy to understand, but challenging enough to stay interesting. Perspective mode is such a cool idea. I just wish it applied to more minigames. The museum is one of the best parts of this game. You get all the information about the game, from the records to the unlockables, and even character sound effects. But the greatest part is that you can unlock constellations made from the mini stars, which gives you all sorts of art for the characters. And the music is so soothing as you watch the stars for one of the most memorable parts of this game. So yeah, I perfectly understand why some people don't like this game, but I still have fun with it and do like to replay it every once in a while. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like and subscribe. And if there is something else you find mind-blowing about Mario Party 9, then let me know down in the comments below. Have a great day, stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next one.